I, I get in people saying, well, fucking Snap must have known he was painting with him all the time. Well, yeah, I painted with him, but I didn't, like, par with him, like, oh, you know, you know, it was a strictly a painting thing, mm. you know. I did paint with him a lot. He had a car, I wasn't driving, you know, we'd go out and... It was a, it was a real shock. Killer Keller, podcast. Killer Keller, official .com. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Killer Keller Podcast once again. Big shout out to everybody that's a regular in here. It's a beautiful morning for it. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk and of course, everyone's got a television app. Download on out on a free one. Um, we have a returning guest um, and one which uh, was unprecedented in response. Uh, a lot's gone on over the last couple of months or more. Obviously, the lockdown and that. We were meeting beforehand. SMCKTC, the awesome snap. How are you? Thank you, sir. All good. <laughs> nice. Nice to be back. Part two. Part Here we two. go. Part two. Put it for part two. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, well, you were passing, wasn't it? So you thought, yep. yes, you're going to come Definitely. and check, yep. check the trap, see what's going on. What's of it? course. What's been going on? What's been happening? Not much. Bit, you know, this and that. I've been out there painting again, you know, just doing my normal stuff, you know. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of action at the moment. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a wanderer. I wander around and around and around. And, and you I'm see, seeing... you use your eyes. Mm -hmm. You've got your eyes to see, your ears to hear. And, you you know, yeah, I've been out there painting this, painting that. Mm -hmm. Getting a few tins of paint. Bit on my own, but you know what I mean? That's how it goes, you know, solo missions. Mm. Has it been on your own a lot recently? Do you like that? Do you prefer it or do you, is it? I do, I like both. You know, it's, it's something to be said about painting with someone or mates, you know, but then there's a lot, you know, doing it on your own, you know, just it's nice, chilled out. You know, your head's in the right place. Last time we had a chat, I've got to say, I, I walked away feeling like, yo, you know what? I've just spoken to somebody that I don't, you know, lives it to the point that everything that he was talking about not only is accepted in his head but the consequences are accepted in his head oh yeah once i justify it to myself and that's it sweet it's good good to go you know but i enjoy it you know it's nice it's, it's part of me now you know mm. get out there and do it and yeah when you enjoy something it's nice to do it you know you mm. do the more you do it the better you get and what more can you say? Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Another point, but I might interject by saying more of a man because it, it, the girlfriend is here. Jane, big up Jane inside the place. How are you? Hello, Jane. That's right. Same as last time. Same situ same setup as last time, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly the same. Just a whole, you know, just a little bit warmer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell, it's hot. I'm melting here, mate. Oh, my days. Yeah. I mean, I guess summer's better for, for writers, isn't it? You know, oh, yeah, out. yeah. I love, I love it in the summer. You know, the paint dries and all that. And uh, it's just nice to be out in the summer, you know, having a few beers, mm -hmm. you know, having a paint, take your time. Paint, generally, is whatever you can get your hands on, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I don't, you know, like I said before, I don't really go out and buy it. You know, I hate. I do like using that nice fancy paint, but um, you know, I just use what I can get get my hands on, like from <coughs> hands, this, this mm. and yeah, I got caught in um, the other day. Oh, I'd um, I'd nicked three and put one under my arm, and the guy stopped me as I was going out of the shop. And uh, basically, I'll just give it to him back, innit? And then he searched me and he found the other three. I thought, I might get away with it, you know what I mean? But <laughs> So I'll just give it him back and then they said, oh, you're banned from the shop, so I can't go back to there for a while. Do you get banned a lot? Yeah, quite a bit, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when you get caught, as long as you just don't give it large or something, just give it him back. You know, you walked in there with nothing, so, you know, if you walk out there with nothing, you're no worse off. If you come out with something, then it's always a bonus, you know, so... But if you do get caught, just give it him back and walk out. I enjoy um, shoplifting. I know it's a terrible thing to say, but I do, yeah. Oh, do you, you do? I do enjoy it, yeah. No, I, I, listen, I watched this thing last night, literally last night on TV, about all the different kind of underworld-based activity, you know, things that you can kind of, you know, make monetize and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Some Channel 5 business after hours, you understand. Uh, yeah, and after a certain point, the, the norm becomes the, actually, do you know but I, don't, you know, I don't you think I wouldn't I, want to. I don't really shoplift to make money. I know people do in that, but I just I like to get something for free, and especially paint, you know, and then I can do what mm. I need to do with it, you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, like, you guys are, like, kind of in that 
in my mind anyway, in a real romantic kind of way, kind of inseparable in, in, in the you and Jane, just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see you guys together and shit. Yeah, yeah well, you would, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, you know, she, yeah. She's sort of at this point, you can't see, and if you're listening, you're not seeing anything, but the pixelations are turning red at the moment. <laughs> oh, my days. Yeah, I bet I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, never mind. Yeah, anyway, yeah, she's, mm. she's a lovely girl, and I do like her, like her company, and yeah, likewise. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> that was, I guess. But, <laughs> yes, reciprocated well. Might. One question I didn't ask you, actually, um, yeah, and a bit of a mundane one, but I, I was curious to know, like, what, where did your style do... Derived from, and who were your, who were your influences in in the sense to create the name Snap? You know what? I I didn't start off with Snap. Obviously, I used to come up with tags, and then I'd start writing them, and mm. then I'd find out that someone else already had that tag, so mm. I'd have to, you know, scrap that. I remember coming up with Dusk, and there was some Dusk from Kentish or Camden. Then I thought Massacre. Obviously, there's Massacre, you know, RCS, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then. I thought of Natas, which is Satan backwards, and I thought no one could have thought of that. Like, and so I used to go with that for ages. And then I remember when I'd met Idea and all Ouch and you know them lot, they used to call me Natas, innit? And um, mm. the first time I done Uxbridge Yard, that was the first day I started writing Snap. I don't know why I thought of Snap, but really. So what date yeah. was that? That was a while that, ago. That would have been nineteen ninety five. 1995. 1995, yeah. So you got some legacy in the building, man. Fuck. Yeah. What right. was the world like in 1995 for you? Just the same as what it is now, really. You know, like, just loved it. Loved it. I love life now. It's still just a shame getting old. Look, grey hair. But oh, I remember 95. Yeah, life was nice. Life was nice. Meeting all the writers, hanging around with them every day. You know, had no cares in the world, no kids, nothing like mm. that. You know, and uh, you have you haven't got kids, have you? Or yeah, you got I've got a daughter. She's oh, hold tight. Twenty. Twenty one. Way yo. Did yeah, oh, she see the last podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiki, what did she say? Yeah, she's yeah, she <laughs> likes it. And that. Like, <laughs> I love yeah, that. She don't mind the graph. I'm like, but I remember one time when she was staying at my mum and dad's house. This is when she was little. Mm. I must have been drunk one night, and I went down to the garage in my dad's house. This is my mum and dad's house. And I'd done a sham piece in the garage. And I woke, I woke her up in the middle of the night about three o'clock. I said, come and have a look what I've done. She, she looked at it and she loved it. She goes, oh, granddad's going to go fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, yeah, my dad, he don't like it. And he, he painted over it and that. But I remember taking her and her little cousin out when they were about seven, eight, doing a bit of graffiti. Yeah. Then I got, like, when I stopped, I stopped from, what, 2000 to about 2014. Mm. But about 2006, 2007... Yeah, she, she would have been about seven. Mm. And I took her to this old MFI and we'd done a snap piece inside and she's standing there with her arms crossed like that. Oh, like, that's cold. Bad next to it, yeah. It was, yeah, I always remember that. I've proud still got the photo now, yeah. Mm. Well, she looked proud of it as well, like, cool. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, she's a good girl. She's all right. She knows about the graph. She sees it. She sees it everywhere. I, I, when I do it near her house, I always put her up, so... That's awesome. See, yeah. this is just some... Oh, I'll tell you, you know what, what I did. When I was Go living on. in Sudbury, mm. on the bridge outside my house, I'd done a massive Shan, because her name's Shannon. So I'd done a big Shan on the, on the bridge <laughs> right Sick. there. Sick. Yeah, so she does sort of like it, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm super always, as you know, I'm always intrigued. I ask these questions even when the camera's off, to be fair. I'm proper geek out. And I uh, often think to myself about the, the lifestyle. You've mentioned there how much you loved it. And... I, I can appreciate that. Like, the lifestyle is completely I think it is free. a lifestyle. It is, yeah, it is a sort of a free... Well, yeah. You know, when a proper writer back in the day, you know, you go out with nothing and whatever you come back with is a touch, you know? Like, you try not to pay for anything. You go in shops, you want a drink, you get a drink. You want some food, you go and get some food. And yeah. I wonder how that was attached to Graf so, so naturally. The, the, what, the idea, well, yeah, thing and all that, yeah, like, raising, blue raising, yeah, yeah. I think that was it. Just you know, when you're when you were younger and you was all out as a crew, you know, maybe your money you was saving it for a draw or something. You know, like you mm. know, two of you go halves on a draw, so you've spent all your money, mm. but you're thirsty, so you, you just nick a nick a drink or food. Or, if I want hot food, I go into like the Sainsburys and go to the hot counter mm. and just like get some chicken wings or something. It's hot food, isn't it? Mm. And just. Nick it before you take it to the counter, and then you've got hot food. 
I, I, I also like the fact that <coughs> there aren't any, it's not, there's no class to graph, only how big, how better, how stylistic you can be. I, I, I feel like it's part, it's all, it all, almost part of a, it's a um, uh, prospect to, 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 to start as a writer authentically and, and do it properly yeah. and that. Yeah, because I don't think there's that many authentic writers now that do it like how it was done. Do you know, we, mm. we said this before about, you know, doing it how it used to be done. A lot mm. of people buy their paint now. That's how these paint shops are in are in business. But mm. when I was, well, back in the day, no one bought paint, you know. You, 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 mm. you stole it. But now, like, a lot of people are like, oh, no, I can't, I've got kids, or, you know, I'm getting old, I can't. But it's actually easier now, I think, I shouldn't even say this, it's easier to get paint, because hardly anyone's nicking. You go to some shops and you've got the full selection. Like, back in the day, you know, you go to shops and it was always caned, didn't it? And people used to, um, <laughs> people used to put a tag in the shop, you know, like, you go to the B&Q, and hmm. at the back of the rack, you'd see someone's tag, like, where they'd open the can and got a tag Stop on it. Stop it, what, right at the back, so when the last one you can see the tag. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I remember going Man. to some art shop with Bond, the writer Bond, yeah, yeah. and uh, we nicked a load of pens, and where the pen section was, they had like a pad where you can try it out, and I remember him putting, you got robbed on, on the sheet of paper, innit? <laughs> oh my God, brazen behaviour. No, no, you reminded me of another story. Mm. It was in Southgate, and I was with Neymar. And name was from South, obviously. Tight name. And we went in this art shop, nicked loads of pens, yeah? We come out, like, all giddy, laughing. And we bumped into a woman, and his face dropped. It was his auntie from down south, and we bumped into her just as we come out of a shop oh in Southgate, God. up north, like... And, oh, mm. my God, it was just the maddest thing. I remember that like it was yesterday, because it was... His face just dropped. Like, <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> when was that? That must have been back in the back This was 95 as well. Like, this wow. is going. How I remember is what, what car I was driving. In 95, I had that big Colton name I was said. Yeah. And my Red Nova. If it was 96, I had the White Nova. All right. 97, I had the Silver GT Turbo. And then 98 to, 20, to 2001, I had a Red RS Turbo. Tell me that the GT Turbos weren't the shit. They were amazing. Oh, they, you know what? They go for like 15 grand now. You know, mm. I had so many of them nice cars back in the day. But back in the day, I had um, when I had my white Nova, Bosch had a red Peugeot GTI 1.9. So the two of us, like, we used to go, you know, That's go so out legit. There. Yeah. We were going some missions, 10 up, five in my car, five in his car. What? Well, I'll tell you what, one time when we done, oh, yeah, that's that, that station. Uh, on the central line, there's a train left there. Me and Bosch had seen it in the morning on London Tonight or London Today, whatever that thing was. Mm. And it was a thing about the last three stations on the central line being closed down. And they'd left a train there at the station. It was like half a train. So we, me and Bosch drove up there in the day, all the way up into see the train there. Mm. And that's it. We was like, oh, it's on. We're going on a mission tonight. I mean, we phoned up a few other people. There was two writers from Paris, Sari and some other geeks. So basically, there was five in my car, five in his car. And we drove up to the, and we spent the whole night there, 10 writers. Wow. Painting this, this train. And there's a picture actually online where Bosch, is, Bosch has got a dub on the front and I've got a snap top to bottom on the right. But the other side of the train is just pieced top to bottom. I've never seen no photos of it since. Wow. All teach, all them, like, there was, I can't remember who else was there. I remember we ended up driving through central London and you know when you go through the city of London bit where they got the roadblocks and the police there, mm -hmm. and there's all there's five of us in my car and we're all out of our nuts, you know, paint on ourselves. We got a camcorder in the car with the fucking nights. No. Yeah, and we got stopped at like a little checkpoint and all that. Oh mate, I don't know how we never got caught like you know. But your your life, I mean, look, we're li we 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 are what even halfway through this and mm. there's new stories like your life. Oh, I could tell you stories galore. Like, well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm mm. like, you must have just a lifetime. So that's far. No, so so funny the stories as well. Look, I thought of one the other day. It was um, imagine this now. The bullet wall. Everyone knows that in Mill Hill. Anyway, one time now there was me, Zonk, and this other geezer. Yeah, and we went to paint there. He said, I had my white Nova. So it was '96. Yeah, 96. Wow. So anyway, me, Zonk, and this guy, we've got out, we've gone to walk to the plot, and then Zonk's turned around and said, oh, snap, I've left something in your car, some paint. So he goes, give me the keys. So I'll give him the keys there. Anyway, I've gone off to the wall, and then, like, you know, time's going on. I'm thinking, fucking hell, you should have only been five minutes, mm -hmm. yeah? Anyway, listen, he's gone to, back to the car, got paint, locked the car. 
started walking back. This is in the daytime, maybe about four o'clock. Anyway, he's only got a tag on the wall, but listen, while he's getting a tag on the wall, police are driving past in a metro. This is how long ago it is. They were driving a little metro. Wow. Listen, the two coppers are looking at Zonk getting a tag on the fucking wall. What happens? They crash into the car in front. <gasps> so you imagine how pissed they are. Because this cunt gonna... they're looking at, what spraying the wall, they've crashed into the car in front. <sighs> so anyway, so like time's going on. He must he's got nicked, obviously. He's got my car keys, isn't it? And um He's taken ages. So I'm, I said to Andrew, I said, listen, I'm going to go and see what's happening. Like, So I've walked up and the cars, the police cars, they all crashed into this other car. Like, <laughs> No sign of Zonk because he's been God. nicked now, yeah? And like, I said to the car, I said, what's that? Oh, some wanker was getting a tag and we've crashed our car. I was like, oh, fucking hell. So anyway, I've, he's got my car keys, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can't get in my car. So anyway, like, I've gone down to uh, Collindale Police Station because that's where it's just been opened and that. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, look, my mate's been... Uh, Arrested, he's got my car keys in it, like <laughs> brazen. Yeah, and so he's he's the policeman. I said to him, so go and tell him. I said, tell him like I, it's, I need my 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 car keys back. <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, so he's, the cop has gone in there, and being a good guy, he's got no. I never heard of that guy. No, no, I don't know him. Like, is there my keys? And he didn't want to drop me in it or put mm. my you know bring bring my name into it, but. Wow. I don't even fucking know what. I know I got my car keys back at the end of it. I think I had to wait for him to come out. Wow. But what a mad one. How I, I, mad is that him getting a tag and the two coppers look at him and then crash into the car? Oh, it's, a co it's something straight out of some Benny Hill sketch. Yeah, that was the shit that used to happen every day, shit like that, mate. I'm telling you. But, they, but, they, but with actions cause that, it, it creates that kind of attraction, doesn't it? Yeah, like... By design. But you couldn't even make that shit up, like, you know, it's... Yeah, that was life, man. But, but I still have times like that now, you know. Do you still have I mean? times like that now? Yeah, not not as many, but you know, that is still the mad things happen every day, you know. But it, but you enjoy it. I enjoy it, yeah. It's like the other uh, like the other night, I went I went into Asda, and this Asda's got a little McDonald's in there. And as I walk out, when I, I made a habit of, um, as I walk out, I pick up the uh, Krispy Kreme donuts, the twelve pack, mm. as you just would. just walk yeah. out with them, like, and just make it look like I've. I've um, paid for him. The security man's sitting there on his phone. He's at the door, he's like, but he's looking at his phone. He's not even looking at me. And I thought, hang on, I could pick up that box of beers there. So I've literally, I'm in his view, but I've picked up the bottle of beers yeah. on top of the, the Krispy Kreme donuts yeah. and walked out with it and put it in my car, right? And I thought, oh, I'll take the piss. I walked back in and picked up another bo uh, box of Copperberg while the geezer's still on his phone and walked back out and put that in my car. <laughs> like I say, now everyone's videoing things, but all the good things don't get videoed, I think. You reckon? Well, yeah, because, and I don't even like to say because like, I'm telling you that story, it don't even sound real, but it, mm. it happened. You know, if I say it, I say, you know, it yeah, happens yeah, and yeah. that, like. But, yeah, fuck me, man. Just think of all the old mad times and that, like, mad stories. Mm -hmm. now, you know, like, now you're saying about cars, I'm thinking of another story when it was me and, imagine this now, it was in my Red Nova, so it was 95, mm. and it was, I was with Pest, the girl writer mm. Pest, yeah, oh. Uh, all Zonk idea mm -hmm. and Bosch and that. They all know her. She was part of the crew. She's done yards. I haven't even done this girl, yeah? And uh, anyway, one night, we're looking for somewhere to paint. And we're on the North Circular. I've driven around the North Circular, hit the South Circular, gone all the way around the South Circular to the North Circular. Mm. And we ended up back where we started was, where we started from. And we, we went and painted in West Hampstead. So we walked down. And we've had to sneak through this, like, building site to climb on the tracks. Mm. And we're on this building site. We've ducked down past this little security hut. The geezer hasn't clocked us. And we, I see the fence where I say, look, we're going to climb mm. over there. And it had the orange, you know, street light sort of... It's that orange colour anyway. You're pitching it, you're painting a picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and then it was like on the floor, it just looked like a recessed little square of, like, freshly made concrete, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and it had a block of, like, a two-by-four going across, across it, it, yeah? yeah. I said to I said to I said to Pest, I said, go on, ladies first. And she goes, no, 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 you go first. So as I, as I stood, I thought it was like cement. It was like a fucking cement well. What? Anyway, I've fallen in this cement well, yeah? And if that bit of two by four my, by four weren't there. You wouldn't have been I've, to grab anything. You'd yeah, I would have been dead, mate. I'm telling you. I've fallen down, I've grabbed onto this bit of two by four like that, yeah? It's taken me about 20 minutes to pull myself off. She's pissing herself <laughs> laughing. Oh, my yeah. God. How long does it take for that sort of shit to set when you're on your clothes? Well, no, listen, I've sort of pulled myself up, yeah? Listen, when I've come out, my trainers are not there. 
One sock's not there. Yeah, I've got one sock full of cement. Yeah, <laughs> my jeans are not there. They've they've come off in the cement. Yeah, whereas I'm pulling myself up. Yeah, I had a lovely oh, D and G jumper. I had to throw that away. So anyway, yeah, there's no painting now. It's yeah. fuck that. I ain't got shoes. I've got one sock flapping about. And basically, so picture this now. I'm in my boxer shorts, one sock half off with cement. I've, I've got a t-shirt on, and I've got the ump. She's just pissing herself laughing. So we. We're walking back to the car now, mm -hmm. like, and I'm making this noise, flip, flop, flip, like with this concrete sock flapping about, yeah? <laughs> the security man's heard me coming now, like the one we sneak past, yeah? He, oh, he's just look, looking there. He ain't said, like, what the fuck are you doing in here? He's laughing, because he can see. She's still laughing. We've walked past his hut, walking up to the car now, and walking along uh, West Hampstead High Street, and there, I remember there's some, like, rude boy, like, it's, it's about two in the morning as well. He's come running, he's going, you all right, mate? Like, what's happening? I like, see him in my boxer shorts with my one sock <laughs> flapping about. I was like, leave me out, mate. <laughs> Fuck, you know. And the car was a good 10 minutes walk. Like, so I'm walking up West Hampstead High Street in my boxer shorts with cement on me. And the mad thing Not was... Not the look. Yeah. And, and the mad thing was, the trainers that I'd lost were some Nike Airs, and they were the first pair that I'd nicked from a shop. Remember the name I actually said about a shop yeah. we used to nick trainers from? Yeah. It was the first pair I nicked from there, so they were sentimental to me. But when I pulled myself out... Cement, 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 wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, they were stuck in that cement well, but I, I, I just always think, because my feet never touched no bottom of this well, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking if that two by four weren't there, that I'd grab my arm, I, I would have gone down. And it took me 20 minutes to pull myself out. And as wow. I pull, you know, imagine like when they say... you. you get out of water with your clothes on or something. Yeah. It's hard. Imagine trying to get out of cement. With yes. your clothes. It took my clothes off. Tougher than quicksand. Lucky that... I still have my boxer shorts on. Do you know what I mean? Because what it does is it sucks you in because there's yeah. no... Oh, it was box. horrible. Yeah. And I, I kept thinking in my head, it was lucky that I did go because imagine it was uh, pissed and <laughs> she disappeared. Like, yeah. You know? But she did find it funny. And I, I, I suppose it was funny. But don't you ever worry about doing stuff on your night? Because things like that could naturally just happen and you're just like... oh. Fuck. What the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, like, it's but one of them things think... I think back and them things happen in life. I'll tell you yeah. another one, like, listen to this. Me and uh, um, Dells, not the proper Dells that hangs around with Oka, there was this other Dells, he was my mate. Yeah, yeah. And I'm driving in, he's driving, I'm in his car, and I've got my arm out the window in the summer, yeah? And we're driving, and there's a skip coming down, and you know what? I see, I thought that's a bit close. Pulled my arm in, and the fuck it, he took the whole car out down the side <gasps> of the skip. I took the mirror off, everything. And I think, fuck, mate, if I didn't clock that, I'd yeah. pull my fucking arm off. My arm would have just got clean off. It makes me sick when I think about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But then, but then there's things that you graph writers do that when hearing this, I mean, there's a couple of stories on the last one, but like, I insist you guys check out the last episode as well because there's no joke stories. Yeah, no, no, but, no jokes, mate. No jokes. And I think to myself, fuck, oh, man, that just turns my stomach every day. Isn't yeah. there anything that, I mean, there must be loads, and like you say, and that. But does it, it, it relentless and you just keep going. Yeah, it's just life. It's, oh, it's good because then you've got like good stories to tell. That's life, life, you know, events. Mm. Some people don't even have one good event in their life, but you know, mm. loads of that. Mm. Love it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, well, it's, it's still alive now. You know, that's, that's it. You, you've heard about the other stories, like you know. Yeah, uh, when I think back to the nineties, the style of Snap and the way that you've developed. That I mean, you. If you were to call it um, following the 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 eras and the style, I won't say yeah. trend because it's not. There's no trends. It's like, but you've you've your style's been slowly diversifying yeah, with yeah. every new generation that comes along. Isn't yeah, because I tell you what, like some of my old stuff, I say I think oh, that's good. And I, I know it's good. I tried to do it now and I couldn't even do it. Like, Why is that? A, I don't know. You know, I genuinely can't do it. Someone says, "Oh, why don't you do that style? Look at that." I try, but then I've got... But my new styles ain't too bad. No, I love know? it. I love the new style. But it's bonkers that you can't do the old one. It's like, that's your... Do you I, were, I tr you honestly mad. try to do, like, I think, yeah, that fucking looks all right. And I'll try and do that now. But obviously, I've done it, but... Mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of writers go through that turmoil? Yeah, I think so. But another thing I noticed as well, it's like, you know, sometimes... Because I never took photos back in the day, yeah? Someone will post a picture of something I've done in the 90s and that. And I literally cannot remember doing it for the life of me. But obviously I've done it because you can see it's me yeah. and my style and that. And then I posted something and um, Zonk said, do you know what? If you wouldn't have posted that, I would have never remembered that mm. night. It was me and Bosch and him on a Edgeware bus garage roof, like mm. doing a proper rooftop, proper plot. 
And he said, like, he goes, you know, if you never posted that, I would have never remembered it. And that happens with me, you know. Mm. Someone says something or, you know, they show a picture. And I'm like, fuck me, like, I can't remember doing that. It's good memories. It's good to share things with people, isn't Well, that's it? what I like. And I wish we took more photos back in the day because, you know, some people... I remember Char. Char would always... Even if he didn't have a camera on him, if we'd done yard or something, he'd go back fucking six o'clock in the morning on his own just to get the pictures. Wow. Where me, I wasn't really bothered about having pictures because you heard people, you know, going to the... Um, going to the shop, getting them developed and people getting caught or people getting... You know, police raiding your house and catching... Mm. The, the uh, photos. So I never really won was for taking photos. But now, like, you've got a camera, you can just take a photo, boom. That's just the good When I'm graphing now, I, I've posted it on Instagram before I've even left the fucking spot. You know what I mean? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, mate. How many fucks do you give? None. None, not at all, mate. None. <laughs> no, no. None. So you'll be in a location firing it up on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo! No fear. Oh, that's it, mate. You know, fucking you know. hell. But that's how, you know, that's the good thing about Instagram is like, you know, you know, you could, you know, people might see it when they're out on their journeys, but then you're just making sure, like, well, everyone, that might, I haven't got a lot of followers. I've, I've got loads of people, I've got about over 200 people on a queue, you know, that I haven't accepted, but I don't want too many people on my thing. You know why? Because, like, sometimes if I get really drunk, then I put some stupid photos up, like, with my fucking face, wake up in the morning, oh, shit. Or someone will message me and say, oh, what are you doing? Get your fucking face off. Mm. Oh, Leave me out. I've done that, did I? Shit, and you know. Mm. So as long as I ain't got loads of people on there, or I sort of think I know everyone that's on my followers, then mm. you know I can do some <laughs> stupid yeah. stuff like that. Kinda, kinda. I mean, it, you've been caught before, haven't you? But a few not times. Not really. Like I've, I'm not caught. Caught. I've, I've got caught tagging a bus stop at Highbury Corner. This is years ago. So doesn't it? Does not? Does that? The idea of technology being a ahead of itself, does that not... I don't know, I don't really don't care, mate, you know? Mm. And that's fucking stupid, really, like, you know? It's like, even people say now, you know, like, I'm going in shoplifting, they go, oh, you must love it, putting a mask on. Oh, I never put a mask on once, you know? Really? No, I've got a badge that says, um, I don't have to wear a mask. Was that nicked? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Off my dad, isn't it? That's the worst thing. <laughs> and and you know, I hope your dad gets well and all that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, no, he's, he's, blessings he's, always. Yeah, blessings always. Yeah, he's he's getting on now. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, life happens, brother. Life happens, but he's still got life. That's the main thing. You mm. know, other people, you know, p pass on and that. And as long as you're here, you're still here. You know, mm, that's, that's it. Right. That's right. But take every day as it comes, and thank God every day you, you wake up and. I get this feeling about graph writers, which I admire. The thing I admire personally about graph writers the most is that a lot of them do live in the now. They oh, you've live... got to, mate. If you don't yeah. live in the now, where are you going to live? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's uh, not a lot of forecasting. It's like the here and now is we're going to do this, we're going to do this and this alone. That's that kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. That's, I think that's the way to live life, you know? You, you, don't, you don't know if you've got tomorrow. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, you know? So you've got today, you know, you're still here now, boom. Make the most of it. And your legacy is everything, isn't it, really? It's... Well, that's one thing I think about writers as well. Like, you know, unfortunately, when people, writers do, you know, die and mm -hmm. that, you do get remembered. Mm -hmm. There's one thing, you're going to have work out there that's still, and people are still going to see the thing and you're still going to be... You know, that's why when you do a lot of tags and that, people see them and they're going to think of you or, you know... Mm -hmm. But then when people, you know, do writers do pass on, you know, other people always put them up, rest in peace, or, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know... You're never forgotten. Good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Well. You know, and there'll be other writers, like you say, them three we mentioned before. Was it K-Bag, mm. Lover and Trip? Trip? yeah. People still put them up. They've never even met them. Yeah, that's right. It's just a, it's the, it's the principle. They're writers that died. Yeah. And, and what's the one? There's the one down south. There's that writer, I think it's Dyer. Mm. They have a, yeah, a thing right. every year. FDC. Yeah, if, you know, have a thing every year for him, like a remembrance yeah. thing where everyone does a piece for him and that, you know? So, you know, it's quite nice. I was, I was, you know, just ballooning around Brixton the other day and I see there's a mood piece still, like, in the skate bowl and Powell has still got his pieces. I'm it's just nice. And all of these guys yeah. passed, you know, within the space for 10 years, I think. I know, it's like um, Force. He always does uh, ones for brows, isn't it? Because I've, mm. I've been moving a bit with Force. Like I say, I've, I've been keeping myself to myself. And, like, you know, because, like, we had that shit with, with Pedro. That's caused me a lot of bother. Like, yeah, let's go, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that yeah, because yeah. he, you know, he's caused the graph 
especially the London graphs, a lot of a lot of headache, mm. and especially me. Mm. You know, you, he's brought shame on all of us, and, and especially me because I was out like, painting with him, saying, "Oh, he's a nice fucking guy," mm. Mm. and it's there for everyone to see. You know, mm. but like you know, it, how did it? How did it impact you? The, the news without the you know stating the obvious, obvious but yeah, yeah like I'm getting people saying well fucking snap must have known he was painting with him all the time well like, yeah I painted with him but I didn't like par with him like I you know you know it was a strictly a painting thing mm. you know I did paint with him a lot he had a car I wasn't driving you know we go out and it was a it was a real shock mm. like I said the, the day before they turned up at his work I actually painted with him the night before wow with this other guy yeah painted all normal. Then the next day, I'm getting messages and that, like, and people didn't even sort of say, like, what it was. Oh, have you seen? Have you seen? Like, and I thought, oh, what are they on about? Mm. And then when I see it, you know, my jaw dropped, you Must know. Must have like, blown your mind, like, what? I was like, fucking hell. And there was no warning, no, like I, I said to you before, like, no signs, anything. It was that way inclined, mate. And it, like, I, like I said, I've been dragged down with it, you know, and people who know me know me. They mm. know this. Mm. It's bullshit, but people that don't know me, people are saying things, and then if someone says something about someone and you don't know them, you sort of tend to believe that person, whatever they say. Mm. But anyway, like I say, people that know me know me, and Terrible, he, he, like I say, all I say is he's brought shame on the graph, on the graph world, not just for me, but for everyone, mm. you know. And it is a shame, you know. And oh, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna see him up no more. No one, no one's gonna be wanting to paint with him, but. <sighs> It's like I say, it's a sore it? subject. It's a horrible... Yeah. You know, it is. Yeah. It's a thing people don't even want to talk about, like, you know, that thing in general. But when one of your own is actually yeah. caught bound to rights doing it, mate, what can you say, you know? Yeah. I'm gutted that, you know, I had anything to do with the fella, you know? Mm. And like I say, it's, it, it don't make me look good, you know? Like I've got... But then, like I say, I've got other mates that they know I'm, I'm cool. They've even been fighting my corner, like, mm. the one before. Mm. Catch. He's even telling people that no, 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 Snap ain't like that. Mm. You know, I let Snap chill with my son, mm -hmm. and if he was any way wrong, and I said mm. I've got a daughter, he, he gets her out raving. Mm. He's looked after her in raves before. You know, mm -hmm. he's seen her in raves, get in trouble, mm. and he's seen as my daughter and that. You he's, can't tarnish the same brush with the he, same he, person. Yeah, it's not yeah. The well, one. If, if it was me that yeah. they come to my work and and said right bang to right, that's, that's different. Then you can call me what you want, but that's never going to happen. So. You know, I've got I've got a daughter. I've had to live, you know, twenty years having having a daughter to worry about, and you know that sort of mm. shit. But you know, anyway, that's, yeah, man. No, it, no, like, no. That was. The, the, I think it was important. It that had was, to be said, you yeah. know, like and because you know, you know the, the implications on such a thing is so the the, the shock waves are so vast. It is. That's what I'm saying. It's shocking. Like, yeah. uh, and and even oh, how shocked was you? Yeah. Pro properly, e everyone was there. You know, yeah. and dickhead me. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's sweet, sweet Pete. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. You mm. know, but there you go. Yeah, yeah. And um, but like I said, I had good times painting with him, and never even. And the worst thing was, he was coming on. He was, you know, he didn't even really do silvers. He was doing pieces. He was coming up. People even say that it was like, rah. He was. He was on the getting was somewhere, the but now he can't paint now. He... <laughs> Yeah, he's just been lined everywhere. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go out anywhere, people are lined lined him out and that, you know. Because yeah, yeah, that's fair, right, fair right, play. that's right. Yeah, like yeah. I say, he's brought shame on on our little thing, our yeah. you know, our London community of yeah. graffiti writers and that. And I've had to hear the, um, I've had to take most of it, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the flack coming to me. Yeah. But there you go. It's dealt with, like right, you know, people know yeah. they know. I'm really glad you brought this up on here. Yeah, no, it had to be said as well because you know I'm getting sick and tired of being tarnished with that same brush, mm. just because you know someone out like every, every people out there knows people or has friends and that you know like and what are all of them mm. like that? Yeah, exactly. But like I said, we said it now. Boom, there you go. And like we were saying, you know, good or bad, your name gets remembered one way. Of or Of course, another, yeah, and it? I'd rather it be getting remembered for mm. good things than like <laughs> bad things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you, you take the rough with the smooth, you know. Mm. Of course, but you know, I always used to think to myself, why did graph writers get such heavy sentences, particularly in the mid nineties? It used to be pretty it was terrible, intense, right? Wasn't it? You know. And I used to think to myself, I, I think it's embarrassing it? for them. I think they were embarrassed, you know, when they're actually in prison, and they're saying, yeah, like, what did you go down for? Uh, 
you know, yeah. graffiti, like basically writing your name on a wall. Yeah. Like when I told you when I said I got I got caught at that um, Highbury corner writing my name on a bus stop, yeah. Um, I was on my lunch break and I was at work where my dad worked, yeah. So obviously my dad has not seen me come back from work, mm. but some geezer that worked there see me getting carted off in the police car. Uh. He's told my dad. My dad's come down to the police station. And he's gone, writing your name on a bloody wall, you know. <laughs> you know, what do you say to that? Like, yeah. yeah. You know, I say, like, what you're saying was right with, you know, most writers, well, back in the day, were criminals, but not bad criminals. Like I say, you know, I'm a shoplifter. I don't burgle people's houses. I don't nick their cars. Mm. You know, that's, that, that's a personal shit. But when I, I think shoplifting is not too personal, you know, you're not actually stealing from somebody. You're stealing from a business. Right. Do you understand that? Right. Yeah. Whereas you burgle someone's house. I've had my house burgled when I was younger, you know, you come back from worse life, man. somewhere, you know, all the all the drawers are upside down, your computer's gone, your video's gone. You know, like all your things that you feel violated. But when But you, do you feel like that maybe the shopkeepers feel that way about shoplifted? Yeah, but they've got insurance. I, yeah, I know what you're saying, and, that, and it's not right, really, but, you know, I, I can sleep at night shoplifting, whereas if I was to burgle someone's house, I, you know, I'd, I'd feel bad. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, not, it's not a victimless crime, but I don't feel bad like, doing shoplifting. It becomes a, um, a, 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 an, an occupation. Well, it's not an occupation. I, I, I work, like I say, I've got a trade. I'm, I'm a panel beater. I fix cars. Yeah, that's right. And that's I right, fix yeah. them good. But it's... I'm, I'm not, I'm, I know it's not a good thing to say, but I, I, I shoplift every day. Every single day, I, I'll, I'll go into a shop and I'll, I'll, I'll take something. Is it a habit? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a habit. Like scratch cards and that. I only scratch cards, you know, one, 200 pounds. Nick, one scratch card, one, 200 pounds. Can you imagine that? That's, you know? Wow. How many times in it? I, I nick loads, loads of scratch cards on Nick, innit? And, wow. She never wins nothing, and then I, I always win. Or, or drink, I, I, you know, every day, I, 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 you know, it's not for nothing to be proud of. I'm not trying to big it up at all. But, yeah, it's part of a writer's life, I thought, you know. It was always, you went out and you try and get something for free, for nothing. Like your paint, your pens, your food, ev everything. Does, does karma kick in? Does, is there any moment where you're just like, oh, man, like... Uh, this will all come back at me one no, day. No, listen, I had a, a load of my work tools nicked, you know, like from my panel beating. Mm. And I was well gutted, but then I, I sat back and I said, well, I can't be bitter. Like, the amount of stuff I've nicked out of shops, you know, it was mm. just like, right, I've, I'm, someone's nicked from me. Like, you know, what goes around is going to come around yeah. some point. So it come around, it it got me, so I'm not going to get the ump about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I... Uh, oh, no, it's terrible, really, to say all of that. But... It's, yeah, there's a, there's a moral dilemma in my head. Like, mm. as, as somebody... I get that, that moral dilemma. Do you know what I'm dilemma. saying? But I think I tr as long as your moral compass is in the right direction... Yeah. Like I said, I don't do anything, try not to do no personal crimes. Mm. You know, like, st I never steal off my mates or mm. <clears throat> burgle someone's house mm. or nick someone's car. Mm. Do you know what? Someone even said that on... Um, Remember the last one I done? Mm. Someone put in the comments, "Oh, watch this guy! He's a prolific thief. Lock up your windows and doors." And even one of my mates even said, "Oh, mate, what are you talking about?" Like, and the geezer's a shoplifter. He's mm. not a burglar. He ain't gonna, mm. you know, nick your your VCR or. Yeah, I think a lot for a lot of people. If we were to have this podcast mm. in the eighties, right, and you're talking about graph right there, right, writers back then, without question, it wouldn't even come. As a shocking discussion. Well, it's the norm. That is, yeah. and, and do you know what? That's the sad thing. I'm still there. I'm still in that where I was back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And it's still the norm to me, you know? And like I say, it's nothing. I'm, I'm not proud of it or nothing like that. But it's just mm. the way of life, you know? When you're, when you're a writer, that's, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I seem to do, you know? But like I say, with all this shit that's happened recently, you know, I'm you know, keeping myself to myself. I watch who I hang around with now, you know? Like, I'm painting... You know, at the moment, with Force, that's it. You know, me and Force go out or I'm out on my own. You know, I link a few other writers here and there. But, you know, but Force is a force to be reckoned with. He, you know, you know. Him man, he's on fire right mm. now. He's, like, fucking amazing. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, doing you know, his well, thing but I've, I've, Force. You know, there's a lot... The thing with this writer thing, there's a lot of haters out there as well. That's the other... That's the thing that gets me, you know. There's people... 
You know, when you're out there getting up and doing your thing, people will always talk about you and hate on you and all that. You know, like, that's the sad thing about this. That's, it is. But then again, you've got to say, if people weren't talking about you, you'd be a nobody. I've said before, I'll say it again. What people say about you is none of your business. Well, because that's what, that will break you. And furthermore, um, like you say, it's good to be kind of talked on. Well, uh, that, that's it. Like I said, if, you, if, if no one was talking about you, then you'd be a nobody, yeah. right? you know? But, but obviously you're doing something and people are going, you know, I ain't got time to talk. I don't even think about other writers or, you know, to chat about them because I've got a life. I've got things to, you know, crack on with and, you know, I've got too much other things to think about than worrying about what some other writer's doing or, mm. you know? What's your biggest fear? I don't know. I ain't got no fears, really. You know, I don't know. Health? Because I can't say that because I haven't really considered it. No. And I'd be a liar if I did say I did. Being know. loved or being hated on? Would you want to. Oh, I can't I don't imagine. You're going to start getting deep now. You start saying loved and all that. Like, no, but. No, but yeah. like, you know, I mean, some people, you know, you give. Oh, you people... mean like as a writer? Like, yeah, loved yeah, and yeah. Like, you know, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less what anyone thinks. The thing is, I enjoy what I do. And, you know, even if no one else likes it, I like it, you know, when I'm driving around or I'm out and I see my own work, you know. Mm. Like I even go the other day, like, and we're driving around, like, I think, oh, look, I've got to reach there. Because you do stuff and it gets buffed and that, but there's always that one odd mm. one or two that, and it's about getting them in the right place, mm. you know. You're coming up to a roundabout and I know I've got, like, a tag on a yellow box. Right. And it's right in your view, like, and if you're driving up there, if you don't see it, you're blind, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or you're looking in your blind spot, man. Exactly. And it's, it's all about that. You might do six good tags, and only if one of them stays, that's, that's, that's enough. Mm -hmm. I love it, man. That's right. Isn't it? Yeah. And on that note, my brother. Brother. So, listen, there'll be another part three sometime soon, you know? <laughs> yeah. oh, listen, I love coming here. Love, yeah, you know what I mean? It's nice. It's nice to say my bit. You know, we've yeah. said a few things that had to be said. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Just keep looking out and you'll see my new work. That's right. Onwards and upwards, people. You know what it is. Snap inside the place. Thank you so much, my brother. Lovely, mate. Thank you again. Hey, another day, another podcast. What can we say, yeah? And listen, don't try any of that shit at home, people. Yeah, you know don't. what I mean? Leave it to the people that should know better. <laughs> don't get sentimental, innit? <laughs> oh, oh! Hey, listen, come on. You know, we give it to you, uh, Raw over here. Um, Cement Raw. Killer kind of podcast. Outlet in was out of fashion. Sharing is caring. Yeah, tell a friend, tell a friend. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Stay lucky, people. Bad. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>